I knew Kat Dennings from 40-Year-Old Virgin, but I actually hadn't thought of her for the part. And she came in and read, as did many, many other actresses. And um, she kind of blew me away right away. I was really surprised. Uh, it just seemed like she was Susan. She was real. She had an edge. She had an attitude. And she was smart enough to be the girl that would pique Charlie's interest. Hope Davis was an integral part of the movie, and I wanted from day one for her to be Marilyn, Charlie's mom. It was a part with not a huge amount of screen time or lines, but a lot of the movie hinged on their relationship and knowing how they were together. Marilyn was someone who is clearly unhinged, but truly loved her son, and she really wanted to do the best for him. She just didn't know how. And Hope really understood that. And Hope knew how to take a character without a huge amount of lines and screen time and really make her alive and rich and be a huge part of the movie. Tyler came in and was tough. And he was a little scary. And then the minute uh, the audition stopped, out came this charming, sweet kid, like the nicest kid on earth. And um, Tyler was, didn't have a huge amount of experience. He was Elvis and walked the line, which was pretty amazing. Um, but he came in and was able to Im embody a fierceness uh, as the bully that a lot of other people weren't able to. And my goal with him was to keep him from smiling. I kept saying, you're going to get to smile later, but we've got to hold back. Charlie is about a lot of things, but ultimately what we were trying to do was make a film that was an entertainment. Something Gustin and I uh, talked about a lot before we started making the film was there are a lot of films that are edgy, handheld, independent films that have a lot of credibility. And then there's, on the other side, there's Hollywood entertainments that are very slick but don't have a lot on their mind. We were hoping, and we honestly didn't understand why we couldn't make a film that was an entertainment, a lot of laughs, and also had something on its mind and didn't talk down to its audience. We were hoping that Charlie would be an entertainment that had a lot of humor, and as you followed the story, you learned to love the characters, and you were basically on a ride that was enjoyable, and as the movie turned a little bit and became more real and honest, and you saw that the movie had more on its mind, we would be able to take everyone along with us. The minute I picked up Charlie, I felt like I was reading about real kids with real dilemmas. And um, I, I think if the movie succeeds, it succeeds because it brings us all back to a place where uh, problems seemed insurmountable, yet hopefully many of us had someone we could talk to, which is really what the movie is about. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yes, we in enjoy ourselves as the movie goes along. But hopefully when you walk out of the theater, uh, people will think about the person that listened to them. Okay, so having been an editor and having spent 20 years sitting and looking at dailies and cutting films, I would always find myself talking to the actors, you know, Robert, could you do this in the next take, you know, hoping they would do something. And the difference for me this time was I was actually on the set and I could ask them to do it. And sometimes they'd even do it and it would make it into the movie. I hope that when people see Charlie Bartlett, they have a really good time. They laugh, they're amused, they're entertained. Uh, they're not spoken down to. And I hope w when they leave, they walk away and have some memory of someone that listened to them at some point in their lives, because that's kind of what the movie is about. Everyone needs someone to listen to them. I was very lucky to work with Jay, who is a friend as well as a collaborator. Um, by giving me a sh shot to direct this movie, he was losing an editor, second unit director, producer, and his generosity was pretty amazing 